Hello and welcome to a slightly different video for the channel today. We are up at my allotment here. We're just going to take a look around. This is where I tend to spend my time when we're not playing on the ch games on the channel or I'm not at work. So I've had these three since last autumn. We've got our new potatoes in there which all been ridged up and through and the broad beans which went in just before New Year. Holy time I added myself up here with onions put in January, some early carrots at the same time, got some runner beans in amongst them in trays, along with some early peas, which as we can see are now got some nicely filled pods on them. Broad beans, not too successful in here because there haven't been many insects getting to pollinate them, but there's the odd pod or two there. We did have some early potatoes in there, but they've now been replaced with courgettes. The potatoes have been eaten, along with lettuces, little red ones in there, some freshly pricked out celery at the front, some peppers at the back, and various courgette, cauliflower, and all sorts of other plants at the end there, and trays. <coughs> On the other side there, we've got cabbages, runner beans, and all sorts in trays there, along with some more melons and tomatoes as we come down this side we've got cucumbers up the ropes got a couple of potatoes left there i haven't been eating yet some more lettuces money maker tomatoes alsa craig tomatoes some cabbages in there red cherry cherry tomatoes some gardener's delight tomatoes in there as well some more runner beans and lettuces there We've got a few Ildi yellow tomatoes there and one beefsteak tomato of a varying variety which I can't remember the name of. So everything is now starting to grow nicely out here. It's taken a lot of time to get it done. You can see that the polytunnel there is 10 feet wide and 25 feet long. It was put up in November. Beside the potatoes we've got some or one row of carrots first, then three rows of parsnips, all under the uh, flags there to try and keep the pigeons off. Unfortunately the flea beetle had taken the radish seedlings that I used to mark the row of parsnips, which is about typical. And then there's a couple of rows of Boltardi beetroot, followed by two rows of a variety of carrot called Norwich. Then got second early potatoes of which they're just starting to come through there. And the main crop potatoes which again one or two are now starting to break ground. Then we come into some later planted Norwich carrots which were two weeks after the first ones. There's also a row of pickling onions in there, half row of spring onions and some Detroit 2 beetroot. This other part of the veg garden here was all overwintered crops. So under the sheet there we've still got some white sprouting broccoli. The purple sprouting is all finished now. There's a few spring cabbages outside there but the bulk of those actually bolted and didn't produce anything. Which is down to the dry autumn I think. we got some overwintered onions. A couple of rows of overwintered garlic there. With a row of red onions which were overwintered on the outside. Some earliest spring onion, uh, spring cabbages there. The last few leeks still in there. And there's some dahlias under those ridges there and the odd bit of rhubarb has come through. When I took the allotment on that bit was full of raspberry canes and rhubarb plants, they've since been relocated. The raspberries have caused me a few headaches on here to be honest. As you can see I hit a couple of clumps of rhubarb I missed digging out with a root vator. That brings us on to the bulk of the fruit on here. In this little patch here when I took it on there was just nothing but raspberry canes you couldn't even walk through them. I've now taken them into three rows. The two rows to the right of the screen here are Autumn Bliss which were in here originally. I gave away over 600 raspberry canes of that variety. The row to the left what we're looking at now in front of us is Glen Ample which we bought in from a Bear Root Nursery Company down south. 
as you can see they've all taken I've taken a bit of weeding I've put some grass between them as pathways now just to try and uh, get it looking tidy on here all the posts and supports were put in by myself as well but the biggest problem on here is water so we've got I've been collecting IVCs from various sources a couple I've bought a couple I've been given by clients in the line of my work the greenhouse was bought second hand last October locally which is a bit unusual it's six foot by eight foot but in the opposite orientation to normal and it's currently full of courgettes, cucumbers, sweet corn, leeks, cabbage plants, pumpkins, squashes, and all sorts starting to germinate. <clears throat> the rats moved in over winter, so I had to deal with them. Got a couple of spare raspberry canes down there, and some rhubarb from the uh, rotavator incident. The bulk of the rhubarb was moved to here, along with two bare root black currants, which are called Bigger Ben. They're supposed to be. Uh, very sweet and can be eaten straight from the garden this bit is still very much work in progress down the back here it's very hard at the moment which makes nine impossible to weed so we've got a few strawberries under black ground cover there and on these supports which we've got coming down here as well we have some blackberries all thornless ones so there's three on the one closest to us and there's four on the back one got some spare autumn bliss canes which I never got round to pruning so a bit uh, bigger than the rest the compost heap sort of to the corner there and a row of gooseberry bushes which were moved from where the greenhouse now sits so that was just overcrowded and a lot of fruit trees so starting there Sort of back the shed there's a what I believe to be a cox's apple and a green gauge tree. Got a plum tree there. A bramley up the corner which has been heavily pruned over winter. And two conference pear trees. I've put an asparagus bed on the ground there between them. And for something different, because we need to try and encourage bees, insects up there to help pollinate, we've got a bed full of gladiola against the shed. It's about 50 bulbs in there. This was originally two allotments, I've put them into one. Each one's 250 square meters. Here we've got a cherry tree of some description which I moved from allotment one to this second one. These apple trees, I haven't got a clue what variety they are, I inherited them. Still work in progress around there. That apple tree on the corner here was donated to me by my next door neighbor. These ones, I know they're eating apples, but that's it. We got a little opal plum tree on the corner here, which is bought from the same nursery as the raspberry canes and black currant bushes. Had to put a couple of water butts over against the shed to help supply the polytunnel. All the fencing has been done by myself in here as well. And this is the third allotment, slightly smaller than the uh, first two. At 200 square meters, there's two rows of peas here, what's left of them. It's not a carnival on here, this was to try and keep the pigeons off. But the pigeons decided they'd come in at the end and go along beneath the bird scarers, getting the peas in the end. <clears throat> We've got some sweet peas going up this end here, where the windmills are. The rest of this will be runner beans. And I had to net this because originally there's under here calabrese, brussels sprouts, um, cabbages, cauliflowers. The pigeons got under the bird scarers here and took them all off so I had to get a big 25 meter long and 10 meter wide net and put over them. Bit of a uh, bodge job with the supports but that's all I had. Builders merchants being shut at the moment. And down this side we've got another three apple trees. As we come down this side of the allotment, I had to sort of cut there because the neighbours' children will run about in the allotment and obviously I don't want to record them in the video. You see how the peas are down here. There's very few along this strip until we get up to this top end where they get a bit thicker. The pigeons don't seem to have got down this far. They gave up before they got here. So a few is better than none. This whole allotment was covered in brambles and all sorts. We've still got a few 
or brambles in the fence here. Probably tack them over the course of the year. And then you just see just how big these allotments are. In total, we're looking around 700 square meters for all three. The sheds were inherited with them. Decided to keep this one separate for now, rather than pull it in with the other two. So we've got two of these opal plum trees. There's one on this one and one at the top end of the one with the flags on. And everything is just going well here. Little discovery patio apple I put on the corner there. So you can just see how much space we've got up here and where I spend my time now, other than doing videos for you guys. But that will be where I leave this video. Obviously the audio track has been removed due to the children in the background. But for now I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this slightly different to normal video. And I will see you again in the next one. We may even revisit the allotment in a few weeks' time. Depends what, if you guys want to see it or not. But for now, it's goodbye.